This laser cutter can do a lot of things. It can cut and engrave pretty much anything. It's super easy to use right out of the box. But what I really want to do is be able to make a stamp like this. This here is my old brass stamp. Small business owners and handmade artisans all over the world use these to leave an imprint of their logo on everything they make. You can emboss it onto the leather, you can heat it up and burn it on wood, wax, seals and so on. Very, very useful little thing. Now, up to this moment in time, you would make this with a high precision CNC machine. And um, anyone who tried to make these will tell you how difficult it is. Now, especially if you want to get really small details in there. But a few weeks ago, I found a review online saying Xtool has a small laser machine that can carve brass coins. So immediately that got me thinking, if you can carve a coin, why not? carve a brass stamp. Would that be even possible? And uh, if so, how exactly? Now, if you've been following this channel, you know I really like Xtool products and we've had a few collabs in the past. So I just emailed them and asked them if they would be willing to send me one of their F1 Ultra laser cutters so uh, I can try and see if this can even be done. And they did. I got this delivered two weeks later because I think they have warehouses all over the world so you don't have to pay customs. So just to be clear, I didn't get paid to make this here video, but I do get to keep this machine if I want it. And, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, if you can carve three millimeters into solid brass, I am definitely going to keep it. I'm going to marry it. All right. If it if it's going to do that, I'll, I'll 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 go to church. I'll marry this machine right here. So let's get this unpacked, set up and ready to go. This here is my third X2 laser. And just like with the other machines, there is little to no assembly required. Just get everything out, lug it in, and you're ready to go. Now, this machine is made out of metal, uh, except obviously this see-through cover. So it's kind of heavy, which uh, as we all know from Boris the Blade, it's a sign of reliability. In addition to its smaller brother, it has a camera that helps you position your design perfectly onto the material, a larger working area, of course. And the thing that got me most excited, a 20 watt fiber laser, in addition to the 20 watt diode laser, all right? Now, that very powerful fiber laser should get the job done but with the right settings. With the machine plugged in and turned on, we will need to download its software and connect it via USB or even Wi-Fi. Next, as promised, I will go through all the necessary steps to get our brass stamp done. So let's launch the program and then click this little plus sign here to create a new project. Next, make sure you connect it to the laser here. Next, click import image and pick your logo from your computer or the design you want to emboss. It has to be black and white and have a decent resolution. No gray, no color whatsoever. Now scale the image to the size of your material and I will use this solid block of brass which is about 30 millimeters by 40. In this window here you can input exactly the size you want. Be sure to have the aspect ratio selected otherwise you will distort the image when you size it. 
Now place the material inside the laser and click the camera to get an image of your work area so you can adjust it even further. Now you can also crop the image and for this operation I will uncheck the aspect ratio as needed and uh, even use this width and height windows to get everything just right. Next steps are super important because we need to invert the image from the adjust tab and then mirror the whole thing. Now, trust me, these are essential steps. Don't skip them. Next, go to the top and click this button here to change the processing mode from flat to embossment. This will change your option windows on the right here. And these options are super important to get right. These settings here are money. This money right here. It took me a lot of testing to get them right. So please stop to like this video. And if you consider buying this laser for yourself, I would appreciate it if you use the links below in the video description for absolutely no extra cost to you. I will get a small commission from Xtool to help me run this workshop and conduct more tests for you because I am not done with this machine. I am not done by a long shot. Back to the settings, change from blue light to fiber, change the number of layers to 100, change the power to 100, change the speed to 100, change the number of passes to two. Change the lines per centimeter to 300. Change the engraving angle to zero. And then check this box here. And before we continue, I need to stress just how important this particular feature is. As we will engrave into the material, the distance between the surface of the material and the lenses will change, all right? When that happens, the laser will not be perfectly focused anymore. Well, this machine, this machine right here will automatically adjust the distance between the lens and the material, so it's always on focus. Now, this, this is why this laser is amazing. Auto-focusing during the cutting process, I have never seen that in this type of laser before. And this is where the money is, right here. Okay, now back to our settings, just leave them at 1 and 0.01. .01. This will do the job just right. Now with these settings, I get about 3.3 millimeters depth on our solid brass. Now, if you don't need that much, just let's say 1.5 millimeters is enough for you, cut the numbers of layers in half to 50 or something like that. Or uh, do your own experimentation and please share the results with me if you get better, faster results. One more thing I found during the testing, all that burned brass needs to go somewhere and it does and it gets sucked in through here and ejected through the back so you will need to attach the included hose in there and uh, get it out the window somehow all right and for someone like me getting this hose through a window it's a huge inconvenience because i don't have any windows close to my work desk okay which is why i went ahead and i got this the biggest air purifier they have and when i say i got it i really mean x tool team sent it to me along with the laser all right and this thing is huge it has no less than six filters in there that will take care of everything coming out of your laser machine yes it's big yes it's heavy but it connects to the laser and to my computer via bluetooth and it will automatically take care of all the smoke and ashes coming out increasing or decreasing the fan is needed 
I am super happy and now I can use any of my laser cutter inside my workshop because it works with the other laser machines too. You will note that F1 Ultra has a separate display unit, all right? This will allow you to focus the laser and start the cutting process with a single tap here. Another tap will pause the machine so you can inspect it if you need to and a long press will cancel the whole thing. And here is a time lapse of the entire embossing process which took about 20 hours. Yes, you heard me right, getting this done will require a lot of time. Obviously, if you don't need the entire 3.3 millimeters like me, you can get it done faster, but we are using light to cut through metal. So, you know, give it some time, okay? A quick clean of the surface and here we are. Look at all that detail cut so perfectly because when it's all done you get this now these letters are super small and the outline is about 0.5 millimeters but you can shrink this even smaller if you need to get a lot of detail in there which cannot be done with most cnc machines now these letters for example are paper thin literally at 0.2 millimeters they are hard to see without a magnifying glass. And uh, like we set out to do, it will leave a perfect imprint all the time. Yes, it's a more expensive machine, but there is a good reason for that. It's well built from high quality materials it has extremely useful features it's compatible with a lot of accessories very easy to use software and a powerful laser that can cut through metal i had this running three days straight for testing it didn't even flinch it went through like it was nothing so uh what about me do I keep this or uh, am I just gonna go using my old CNC to make brass tacks? I would say the choice is pretty easy. Making these takes twice or even three times as long, but it's about 50 times easier. So uh, from now on, all my brass stamps I will cut for my clients will be done with this. And uh, I can even lower the price since they will take less effort to produce. I will be able to offer more details. I will be able to make the stamps smaller. So yeah, I think I'm taking this <laughs> behind the school and make kids with it. Thank you for watching. If you want to get the laser like this, I left links for you in the video description. Uh, if you just want to get a stamp made, contact me and uh, if you found this review useful please like and subscribe to this channel so next time we publish a review you'll be the first to know peace i'm out taking this with me behind the school all right let's go honey we got stuff to do